Hi, I'm John from Premium Builds. In this video, I'll show you how to install an M.2 SSD. Before you start, you'll need a small crosshead screwdriver, and you'll also need to locate the tiny screw that comes with your motherboard and retains the drive in place. It's easier to work outside the case as it's a fiddly job. They're often obscured by the GPU once that's in. Don't remove any stickers from the drive, they're metallicized and act as heat spreaders. Identify which slot you want to use, normally the one closest to the CPU is ideal for a primary drive, but check your manual. Then ensure that the standoff is in the correct location. M.2 SSDs come in different lengths, 40, 80 or 110mm, denoted by the last digits of their form factor name. 80mm is becoming the standard, but line up the drive to check. Ensure the standoff is securely screwed down, but don't over tighten it. Installing the drive is as simple as pushing the connector into the slot with the drive at an angle, then pushing it down so the tail end sits flush with the standoff. Use the world's smallest screw to hold it into place, and you're done. If you have an M.2 heatsink, refit them now. A small tip is to ensure that any thermal pad is cut down so it just contacts the controller and DRAM chips, not the NAND memory itself. NAND performs better when it's hot. It's the controller chip that needs to remain cool, but in most use cases this isn't an issue and the heatsinks are mainly for looks. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe if you did. We've got more videos, including a full build video, coming soon. Check out premiumbuilds.com for all the best component guides, advice, and build recommendations.